We are about to make some delicious crepes here in Kentville. Joining me now, Jamie Labrache, owner of the Krusty Baker and uh, really kind of head baker. You not only own the place, but you're constantly working. You kind of uh, have a, a, a grasp on how to do everything. Why well, I, I have to. <laughs> are you the Krusty Baker? I am the Krusty Baker. Yes, it's the bread that's crusty. It's not me. <laughs> why Mostly. You, why most did you of the time. choose that name? Um, I finally learned how to make a French baguette mm -hmm. um, and uh, when I was baking for the farmer's market and it's like finally it's like I, I deserve a name now and I was sort of researching words that were associated with bread and I found crusty and I was the baker so I thought it would be a nice play on words to call myself the crusty baker voila <laughs> and I'm not crusty so it's a nice <laughs> it's as the I'm bread. learning yes, the, the furthest the thing from crusty. it uh, okay, so let's start our crepes so they have time to cook before we are done the segment. I'm making sweet and you're making savory. Awesome. Okay, yes. so what's the first step? All right, the first step, you're going to stir up your batter just a little bit just to make sure that it's, uh, it's not too lumpy and mm -hmm. it's not separated. Okay. Awesome. And you're going to take one big scoop mm -hmm. and put it straight in the center. Okay. All right. So. Break time. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So this one's for you. This Start in the center. You want to keep the, uh, the stick as level as possible. Uh, <laughs> I told to, you I'm not very good at that. <laughs> you want to spread slowly. <laughs> right, let's see if we can fix that. We'll, uh, it's going to be a pancake now. <laughs> All right. Now okay. spread very slowly. More slowly. Yeah, and you want to, hold on, hold on. Okay. There we go. And just turn. Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. It's all about the wrist movement. <laughs> okay, this okay. one's going to be really fun. Yes, yes, mine will all be right. interesting. Okay, so, and I, okay, so we, do we have to leave them for a second? We, yeah, we've got a few seconds. I'm going to keep working because okay. we need to do some real doctoring here. So, hey, there's nothing wrong with it. It's He's beautiful. Unique, okay, so now I am making poached pears with toasted almonds and honey under the sweet crepes category. And which one are you making, ham, egg, and cheese? I'm actually going to go with bacon because I prefer the bacon over bacon. the ham. I like it. Okay, now your crepe looks different because it's uh, a buckwheat? It is, yes. Okay, and, um, and why is that? Um, in Brittany, it's it's traditional to uh, to use buckwheat flour for the savory crepes and uh, white flour for the sweet crepes. Okay. And uh, I mean, because we're doing crepes, um, it's nice to be to keep with tradition mm -hmm. and do things as they they should be done. Okay. Right? Because we've got a little. And now, ball. when you and I first spoke, do I do I flip sure. it? Yep. Okay. Wait, it's sorry. all loose. So you're so, gonna rotate it. Okay. So that it's the flat side. Oh. And then there you go. And you were Beautiful. gonna give up on this crepe. <laughs> Look at that. That's fine. You're All right. Crepe. So we just need a few seconds. <laughs> okay. Ready to flip again. All right. So you can again? go ahead again. Okay. Wait. That's flat good side. You said you want to make it pass through the entire crepes. Okay. And then rotate it. Yeah. I just awesome. kind of gave up and went with it. So now. Okay. When you when when I was first introduced to the bakery, I didn't expect that you would offer crepes. Why do you choose to do that? Well, I've been baking for the Kempfield Farmers Market for I think about six summers. From the very beginning, when it started, um, I was sort of roped into baking bread because the uh, people organizing it were told and did some research, and they found out that farmers markets do best when there's bread. So for many summers, I've been baking bread. Mm -hmm. um, I developed a very severe allergy to fish and shellfish to the point where I can't actually be in the same room as where it's cooking. Mm -hmm. So I had to change from catering to something else and, and baking bread is what I've been doing. Um, so we decided to make a business of it. Uh, and I didn't think in Kempville just a plain old bakery would uh, would survive. So you decided to incorporate so, crepes. Yeah, my former partner is from Brittany, France and he does. he's totally into food. He does, uh, he does catering. And so we just sort of combined a little bit of the Brittany culture, which you'll see on the placemats on the table. They're very traditional folk design. Okay, uh, we didn't even get halfway through our crepes, but a little bit later in the show, I promise you, I will show you a finished example of the crepe. Plus, we've got lots more to baking, uh, more baking to come here from Kempville.